Hi everyone, it's Ken from Kennel 606 with the second brew of the day. Um, the red Cabaret Sauvignon's on and bubbling away. Um, sorry. Bubbling very happily. Um, so the second brew that I'm getting on today is Cooper's Australian Pale Ale with a Munton's Beer Kit Enhancer and ca some Cascade Hops in primary. Um, these, if you want some cheap hops, um, have a look on this website because you might find a bargain or two. They do uh, malts, um, all grain ingredients, yeast. And a lot of hops. They're called uh, Worcester Worcester Hopshop .co .uk, and they've got all sorts. And they're anything from about two pound up to about six pound. I think this cascade was about three quid when I got it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. There's me fermenter. So basically. I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna show you step by step, but I'm basically gonna add that. I'm gonna add um some hops in the bottom, I'm gonna add that in, gonna add that in, give it a good stir, make sure it's all all um dissolved. I'm then gonna fill it up to 20 litres. Um and then I'm just going to um put the lid on top and we'll um see what we'll get. So um, what I'll do is I'll show you the um, finished product. Um, I'm going to use the original Cooper's yeast packet. See no reason why not to. So um, we all give it a go, and I'll show you how, what the finished fermenter is afterwards. See you shortly. Hi everyone, it's Ken from Kennel Six O Six. It's Wednesday, so I'm um, doing some more homebrew because the, the house is empty. So, sorry for the shake. If you remember on the last video, I did the um, the Cooper's Australian Pale Ale kit, um, and I hopped it with Cascade in the primary. Um, it's been a week now. A week to the hour basically so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain it out and I'm gonna put it in that fermenter for a couple of days to clear um, I'm not in any rush for it um, and what I'll do then is I'm gonna wash that one out and I'm gonna do the Pilsner kit put the Pilsner kit on um, but I'm gonna draw off I would say yeah, I'll draw off, uh, draw off two gal. I'll draw off two gallon, and what I'm going to do is, I've got some Molina Polish raspberry cordial, and I'm going to uh, flavour the pilsner, pilsner with um, pilsner with uh, the raspberry cordial after after it's fermentation. I'm going to hop the Pilsner first of all. I've got some Goldings in there. I'm going to put Goldings in it because um, I think the the Wilco Pilsner is a bit it's lacking something if you ask me. So I'm going to start that this today and then when that's finished in a week's time I'll transfer two gallon over to um, two Demijohns, add the the um, the Molina cordial and flavour two gallons. Um, I'm gonna pitch. I'm gonna probably do the Wilco Pilsner kit at twenty liters instead of twenty three or twenty four. I've got um, what I'm gonna do is I've got I've got a beer enhancer kit and a, a five hundred grams or a pack of um, medium um, spray malt as well so I'm gonna add that in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna add a ale 
um, an ale yeast in into the Pilsner kit as well, just to help it along. So uh, I'm not going to film that one because I think everybody keeps seeing um, how to put these kits together a million times. But then I've got the the Guinness to not the Guinness, the Stouts to um, bottle. I'll have the Cooper's kit to bottle, and I'll have the Pilsner kit to bottle. So we just have a mad bottling weekend or day, and uh, we'll do we'll do um. What's that? What's that? Um, what's that will be? Nearly 60 litres. 60 litres will bottle. So, um, I'll add this to the end of the Cooper's um, video. So, um, what I'll do is I'll draw off. Um, I'll draw off some of the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna strain it out with a muslin bag. Uh, what I'll do is I'll. I'll draw some out and put it in a glass and show you what it's like after I've done it anyway. Show you what it's like after a week. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi everyone, back again. Um, I added the can of Cooper's, washed it out with hot water, can't waste any of it. Um, put the kilo of brewing enhancer in, topped it up to just under, just under 20 litres. Um, Added some Cascade hops. I love the smell of Cascade. I forgot what Cascade smells like. I haven't used it for a couple of months. Um, give, thoroughly giving it a good mix. Um, I've pitched the yeast, um, the, the Cooper's yeast that came with it, seven grams. Um, and I've also had a couple of uh, teaspoons of nutrient, yeast nutrient. I always add that to help the yeast anyway. Um, and uh, I'm going to put the lid on and um, we'll give it a go. I may give it a, because they're not pellet hops, the leaf hops, what I'll probably do is um, give, once, a, once every couple of days I'll give it a stir just to just get the hops going through it. Because um, just make sure it's thoroughly mixed through and after six days we'll... Uh, Give her a quick test and see if it's hoppy enough. If not, I'll rack it to secondary and I'll dry hop it with some more. I might add some goldens with it then as well if it needs it. But I think the goldens might be for the pilsner um, to give that a bit of depth. But there's my Cooper's Pale Ale kit. Um, so when I start sending some beer mails out in the middle of November um, these won't be, probably be ready so these will go out the second the second round so it'll probably be dark ales and ciders first trip and these the second so uh, there you go that's enough brewing today um, just under 20 litres of pale ale and uh, a Cabe Sauvignon kit on the go so thanks very much for watching my videos and thanks to all my subscribers new and old um, I hope you're all well I know I keep saying it but I'm thankful that I'm part of such um, such a great community that we're in um, the person that got me brewing this kit in the beginning is a great chap called Brewing with Bill um, I f recommend you go and see his channel I'll put his link down below he had an instruction instructional video better than anyone that I could do on how to brew this pale ale and I watched that thoroughly and it made me want to go and do pale ale so um, yeah it was such a good community you just have to look on YouTube and type whatever you're looking into and there's a homebrew video for almost anything you want to brew um, but I'm babbling now so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time thank you bye now